So, gentlemen, tell me about this project of yours. I'm so excited to hear about it. Let me just get this. Uh, there you go. I had to click something. I like I <laughs> shut down the computer. Yeah. So, tell me about this project of yours. I'm excited to hear all about it. Well, it's a, uh, you know, it's a. Uh, I, I, I would say, at its core, it's a slightly horrific allegorical love story. <laughs> That takes place out in the dead of a desert where nothing should be alive but oddly enough you find some things alive and some things that have been a lot live a long 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 time yeah nice and what are your roles in it well he's the director writer producer any accident as well i uh i have a smaller role in it just i uh, came in for a week uh, i was actually here in in France, so I got the offer. I read it. I loved it. And then I flew to Texas. I drove out from pa what was it? Uh, El Paso. El Paso, yeah. about a four-hour drive out in the middle of the desert to meet him and had a great time. Had a great shoot. That's really, incredible. Really cool. Nice. Yeah. And how, how would you describe the characters that you play? Well, I guess my character is probably the most normal guy in the movie. Uh, probably. He's, uh, he's a cop and a, a dad. And he's he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He just has some unfortunate situations happen. He's a wonderful, wonderful guy that stumbles into the wrong room. Yes. And oh, okay, with, okay. With some potentially catastrophic effects. Mm -hmm. You know, I play uh, I play the evil empire. If it was Star Wars, um, <laughs> I, I, it's just a bookend. It's a tiny scene at the beginning, a tiny scene at the end. Um, so uh, everything that's wrong about the world is the character that I play. Hope, oh. hope I brushed it off at rap though. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I see how I it, it is. Yeah, yeah. You cannot bring that character home with you. But I can't see you being problematic because you're so nice. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> but it shows what a good actor you are, though. Well, I appreciate that as well. <laughs> so what would you say was the biggest challenge about making the film? Probably the biggest challenge is the location itself. Mm. You know, we shot it in Turlingo, Texas, like like uh Kevin was saying, it is a desert. Um, the nearest grocery store is in Alpine, Texas, about an hour and a half away. That's no joke. I mean, there's a, we stayed at what you would call a resort and there's a golf course there, but outside of that, there's absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no room service at two in the morning. Um, there's no cell service. Uh, you can make phone calls to home on FaceTime because it uses Wi-Fi. Um, you know, it's right on the Rio Grande. Mm -hmm. Juarez, Texas, Juarez, Mexico is right across the river. Um, it's not known to be the most safe place on the planet. Uh, it's 110 degrees. We had people go down with, uh, you know, mild symptoms of heat stroke. Uh, you know, the, the, the crazy weather, weather, too. Yeah, crazy weather, the, the lightning storms would shut down production because we were operating off a generator. So not nothing plugged in. So the, 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 the physical location, the territorial aspect is probably the most difficult hurdle to get over. Mm. All I needed was that golf course. So I played golf twice in the one week I was there. Great <laughs> golf course. Best golf course in Texas, in Turlinga, Texas. Who knew? We yeah, arrived there. We got lucky. <laughs> when I went to the restaurant, I looked, I was like, is that a golf course? They're it's like, yes, beautiful, it's the number one course. in the state of Texas. I'm like, what? Yeah. There's nothing else around here. There used to be a hole that had, it was a par three, and the green was in Mexico. And then they realized Later, they had to move the green and put it back in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they moved the green. Oh, wow. That's incredible. What's the name of this golf course? Ooh. Uh, probably Lajitas. Lajitas, okay. Blackjack Crossing. Blackjack, Blackjack Crossing, Crossing at Lajitas Resort. And it's in Terlingua, Texas. And it's world class. It's right and on it's the my bucket list. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And what were some of your favorite memories about filming, other than your golfing, of course? Uh, I, I tell you, just uh, being dead and watching, I mean, that, that scene, I, I don't know, I don't want to give anything away, but my character is not quite, uh, you, you might think he's dead, but he's, I, I, I'm going to go carefully. It's but, a line straddling. Yeah, it's a tough situation, but watching him do his thing and, and uh, the other actors, it was just amazing kind of being there and just uh, being a, a ghost witness to the whole thing was really cool. What about they you? Easy. You know, <laughs> somebody far smarter than me said once said, you know, if you cast it correctly, your job as a director is completely minimized. And 
that couldn't be more accurate than, than this. You know, I, I feel like we stocked the cast with people that really didn't need direction. So I kind of just got back to sit back and watch it happen. And I'm grateful and I'm flattered and I'm proud. Yeah, we're grateful to have him too. He's a great director. All your notes were all amazing. And uh, I appreciate it was it, fun. It was really cool. Yeah, great time. Great time. And are you two doing any more projects together in the future? Uh, yeah, I hope, I hope so. so. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget I hope about so. me, bro. <laughs> Absolutely, I hope so. Nice. And I do. I, I, I make so many friends in this industry. Um, I don't have, I don't have any burnt bridges. I, I, I made so many connections, but occasionally you meet people. You're like, man, I want to keep doing it with that person. And he's one of them, oh, you know, just the, the, the most easy down to earth dude on the set. Usually you don't get that combining with a good acting talent. <laughs> Usually they're mutual exclusive. Wouldn't you agree with that? Uh, yeah. A lot and, of times, and yeah. yeah. And yeah. he's one of them, man. He's one of them. He's, he's on an all fly list. You know, I think it's got a lot to do with the up and down career I've had. You know, I've been on the bottom. I've been on the, you know, been up and down a little bit. So, uh, yeah, it keeps you humble. It's incredible. So what's next for you two? Any future projects on the horizon? I got a bunch of things uh, coming out and coming up. Uh, another Bloody Games. There's a, a second, a sequel to the first Bloody Games. I guess it made enough money to do another one. And, uh, and a couple movie things, a couple TV I did a pilot with Doug Allen again and Kevin Connolly. That's cool. Charlie Sheen. Yeah. It's yeah, man. pretty cool. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's called, very uh, cool. What is it called again? Uh, Ramble On. Ramble Good on. name, yeah, too. Beautiful Zeppelin cool. song. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to get you in there, bro. Brother. Yeah. Yes. Shoot me, shoot me the call. I'll be there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That, I mean, you need to be added to that all-star cast. And what's it like working with them, them as well? Because it sounds like you're working with an all-star cast on this pilot. Well, a lot of them I've worked with. Well, I've worked with all of them, basically. I mean, got some guys from Platoon and some guys from Entourage. So it's kind of a, a group of guys I know really well. And I'm just, like working with your good buddies, there's nothing better. Yeah. yeah nice. Yeah. Absolutely. And one thing I like asking people I interview is tell me something fun about yourself, like a fun fact. Uh, you, you want me? Uh, what both do I of do? you, yeah. Something that's fun. Well, I'm a pretty damn good artist. If a lot of people don't know that, I can uh, I can draw likenesses and paint. My dad was a portrait painter. So no shit. Oh, okay, okay. Wasted uh, talent that I have, but Dude, you gotta uh, show me some stuff. Yeah, yeah, because that's bad. rare. That's yeah. my favorite type of art. Yeah, it's like you know, you know, uh, the, the realists from like Egon Chile. Those are like wow. Yeah. Somebody that can like uh, the two things that have always blown me away in life. Somebody walks into a, a room at a party. They're like, oh, you got a guitar in the corner. They pick it up and they just start playing something. Yeah. You're like, oh my God, yeah. I want to do that. Yeah. Or a piano. And they just go, oh, you got a piano. Blah, blah, blah. They start playing Mozart. Or a dude, you go to coffee and he picks up a pen and he's doodling. When, it, when it's time to say goodbye, you look down and you're like, holy shit. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it's exactly. It's a completely realistic scribble with a pencil. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't have that talent at all. Not even close. I got it. Holy <laughs> cow. It. That's I, pretty cool. I waste it. I, I waste that's it. cool. I feel guilt for not using it more. I really do. And we'll have to sneak it into one of your shows or movies at some point. Yeah, definitely. Maybe in the background, have your pictures or something. Yeah, yeah. I you like know, it. That does it too. And he's, he's actually doing it. He's selling paintings and making Okay. Yeah. And we, nice. We, no, he's not in realism. No, yeah. he's more abstract. Yeah. That's cool, man. But yeah, my dad is realism. I am and my brother Paul as well. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Uh, oh, which fun yeah. fact right here my my uncle created flash Gordon, did all the art for it there you go wow. yeah and uh, secret agent x not uh secret agent x9 and rip kirby and my other uncle did blondie blondie yeah uh, i Rainbow. remember that yeah wow yeah fun fact your turn bro what do you got man i got no i got another <laughs> man um fun fact uh you know, uh, every, every, mo most people in the art industry, uh, hopefully excluding Kevin, you know, they're, they, 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 their art comes from, you know, past trauma or turmoil. I have a wonderful family. I adore mm. my dad, my mom, my mama, my granddaddy. I have a tight family. And, uh, of all the currency in the world, I, 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 I got the Bill Gates of family. Nice. And I'm grateful. Awesome. Nice. I love that. On that note, we are almost out of time. Sad face. But I want you each to describe the film in three words. Whoever wants to start. Story. 
uh, fun, fast, and fabulous. Thank you for not going furious. Thank you. I thought he was going to go furious too. I love that. Beautiful. Well, you two are lovely to speak with. You're amazing. And I can't wait to talk again soon. All right. Likewise. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.